Welcome back to Grief Inspired. My name is Katherine McNulty and I bring light to the darkness of grief and hopefully I'm doing that for you. So today I want to talk about anniversaries and the question that I have for you is how do you handle the anniversary of your loved one's death? You know, I get a lot of questions around that first anniversary. What do I do? Um, do I do something? Do I not do something? Do I take off work? Do I try to go to work? What should I do? Well, for me, um, this year is my anniversary of Jackson Roberts' birthday is actually coming up. And then he lived for six weeks. So then um, the anniversary of his death is coming up as well. And for me, it's always over this this Christmas holiday season, right? So so Jackson was born on December 15th, um, lived through the holiday season, and then passed away on January 26th. So I start to prepare mentally for this because it's December, and I say, well, what am I going to do? Um, because I personally always want to be able to do something, do something that's special for me. Um, sometimes I will do other outreaches um, for other people specific, uh, specifically on his birthday. So I've done that several years, um, but lately I've been doing it really just more for me um, these last few years. And so I have with me here a comfort cub. So I got this out today. And so I don't know if you know what this is. So a comfort cub um, is a bear. And the organization is here in San Diego. It's called the Comfort Cub Organization. And um, you can look them up. I'll be sure to put a link down below. Um, but what this is, is I got this um, at the hospital before I left after Jackson had died. And this is a weighted bear. So this guy, I can't even hold him in that hand because that hand's sore. Um, he weighs about five pounds. Um, and so he is designed to feel like a baby that you're holding. And to be honest, um, Jackson only got to about four pounds. Um, so he's a little heavier than, than Jackson was, but um, definitely bigger <laughs> because Jackson was very small. But, um, but the idea is to, to hold him um, and to feel um, the weight um, as if it's the weight of your baby. And so it is really comforting um, to hold the bear. And so I, um, I actually put him away most of the year. And I think I started doing that early um, because I had my son, Mason Peter, and, and you know he wasn't gonna understand that this was a comfort cub and this was the, to help me remember Jackson you know, when he was a baby. And so I didn't necessarily want him um, playing with it early on. And so I typically, um, get it out, um, just during the times when I need it, like on his anniversary. And so my question for you, um, and I have other anniversary videos, uh, that you can check out as well. So I'll make sure to put them here at the end, but I want to hear about, you know, what do you do, um, on the anniversary every year? Um, this anniversary for me, um, and what I do typically on his birthday, rather on, rather than on the day that he died, um, is I, I have a seven minute video that I watch and, um, we knew that we were about to, um, remove life support that day. We were going to do it in the evening, which is typically when we do it. And, or when they do it at the hospital, just when it's it's kind of quieter, there's less activity. Um, so that's what we chose. And um, I've lost my train of thought because every time I go back and I think to this, it, it sort of takes me out a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I have a seven minute video. And so I watch that video um, every year on Jackson's birthday. Um, and it's seven minutes that literally transforms me, transports me back to, to that day. Um, and so of course I take the time, I watch the video and it's got music set to it, which is like this heart wrenching music, um, from Jewel and it's called Always and Forever. Um, I'll put a link to that song so you can listen to that as well. So whenever I hear that song, it's the song that makes me ball, it makes me cry. Um, and I give myself permission to do that crying and to let it out. And I, and I remember what I went through. Um, and I remember how hard that time was. And just thinking about it now makes me tear up. Um, but I give myself permission to do that. 
and then I cry it out every year. Um, and for me, it's a way to to honor Jackson, to honor um, the pain that I went through to get to where I am now, um, you know, and just his whole life and, and that whole experience. And so I choose to do that every year. Um, I choose to get into the crying mode and um, I think it's healthy. Um, and then when I'm, after I've done that and I've cried for an hour or two or however long it is, I put it away um, and I take the rest of the day to give myself some grace, um, to do something that's comforting to me. Um, and then I, and then I go back to my life the next day. Um, but on the anniversary, I definitely take off work. Um, I definitely make sure that I have time, um, set aside to either be alone or to be with somebody who's really important to me. Um, somebody that I can share with that, Hey, today's the day. Um, and so I might be a little somber and, you know, I might even cry like, and so if that's you, make sure you have somebody in your world who can, who can support you through that, who can handle that. Um, don't spring it on people, um, because it's just really uncomfortable for everyone. But so that's what I do, um, on the day. And I would love to hear what you guys do. So please drop them below. Um, there are times when, in addition, um, external things that I'll do is um, give to charities, right? I spent time at the Ronald McDonald House, so I make sure um, that I um, donate to that charity every year. I make sure that um, there were several years where I made Christmas ball ornaments with the year on them because someone had given me that during my stay at the Ronald McDonald House, and I put that on my, I put that on my Christmas tree every year. Um, and it just is a, is a memory and a remembrance of, of the time that we spent there. And, and it's special to me. Um, so I try to do that, do that for other people or have at least in the past. Um, so I would love to hear from you about what you do, uh, for your anniversaries, how you're going to handle it. Um, I am going to be, and I actually, I want to ask your advice. I'm going to be creating another video, um, specific for Jackson's birthday um, and my question for you is like, do you want to see it? Do you want to see the video that I watched? Do you want to see all of his things? Do you want to see, you know, I get out all the things that he has, right? So he has like tiny diapers and little, um, pacifiers and the wristband from when he was in the hospital. Do you want to see all of those things? That's the question. So let me know if you do. Um, and I will put that together, but stay, look for that video because that video will be available on December 15th. Thanks. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.